Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the multiple reactor systems and our first case is considering only PFRs in series or in parallel configuration or a mixture of both series and parallel configuration. So, uh, let me just uh, draw uh, for you first a series of PFRs. So, a series of PFRs would look something like this. You have a feed A and that is being processed through a series of two PFRs. Now, uh, to understand their size requirements, let us draw the, uh, you know, expressions for the volume representation for N plug flow reactors in a series first. Now, uh, let us just extend this chain to the Nth <coughs> plug flow reactor. So, this is 1, 2 and this is N, okay and you have the ith reactor in between, right. Now, the conversion, the fractional conversion in each reactor is given as x1, x2 and at the last one as xn. For the ith reactor, it is xi, okay. Now, if you consider the material balance for the ith reactor, and go with the performance equation. So, performance equation for ith reactor, then you can write Vi by F0, F0 being the initial molar flow rate of the component A is equivalent to integration xi minus 1 to xi dx by minus r. Minus r is the rate expression and xi minus 1 is the fractional conversion from the i minus 1th reactor and xi is the fractional conversion achieved in ith reactor, okay. So, this is the performance equation for ith reactor only. If it is 1, then it will be just be for the first reactor. Now, if you do that for all the reactors, then for the sum uh, or rather I should say for the total concept of covering all the reactors, you can write V by F naught is essentially summation from I equals to 1 to N V i by F naught, right. And this you can write as V 1 plus V 2 plus so on, so on till V n by F naught. This is fairly simple. Now, this again can be expressed as a sum of integration x0 which is 0 to x1, sorry not i, x1, I should not write i, x1 dx by minus r plus for the second one x1 is the starting point, x1 integration x2 dx by minus r plus so on so on till integration x i am uh, sorry n minus 1 to x n dx by minus r. This again can be written as since it is integration we can write it as 0 to x n integration dx minus r. Therefore, what we can say is for n PFRs in series with total volume V, the volume will be actually equal to the plug flow reactor, a single plug flow reactor of volume V giving the same conversion. Rephrasing my statement again. So, for n PFRs in series, the total volume that is given will offer you the same conversion as one PFR with that total volume as its equivalent, right. So, whether you have uh, 30 uh, PFRs in series, 
or whether you have one PFR whose volume is equivalent to the summation of all of those 30 PFRs, you will get the same conversion. Okay. So, for the optimum way in which you can connect whether in parallel or in parallel series combination, we can treat the whole system as a single plug flow reactor of volume equal to the total volume of the individual reactors. Okay. And here we have to keep one thing in mind, the feed is distributed such that they have same composition. Okay. The feed is distributed such that they have same composition. Uh, this is for parallel or parallel series combination. The idea is for a parallel line, the, uh, okay, let me write this for a parallel line, the V by F must be same in the branches, okay. So, if you do not follow this uh, criteria, uh, the feeding will become less efficient, okay. And the feed is distributed in the parallel lines such that they have the same composition in each line, right. These are the two criteria that we follow for parallel or parallel series combination. Now, uh, let me uh, explain this uh, parallel or parallel series combination with an example that I have taken from the 11 spl book. So, let us say you have a configuration like this. On the first uh, branch, you have two series PFRs, okay. And on the other branch, you have only one uh, PFR, right. So, the feeding is such that the composition is same in both the branches and the product obtained is over here. Let me name this as branch D and branch E for the second uh, parallel line. The first uh, reactor has a volume of 50 liters and the second reactor has a volume of 30 liters. The reactor in line E has a volume of 40 liters. Now, the question is what fraction of feed should go to branch D? what fraction of feed should go to branch D? That is our question at hand. Now, uh, let me just consider first branch D itself. Okay, let me make an envelope on this. So, here the reactors are in series and for series we know that the total volume of the uh, obtained by summing up the individual volumes of the reactors can represent a single uh, PFR volume itself. Okay. So, we can write the uh, volume for branch D is 50 plus 30 that is 80 liters and for branch E, uh, VE is already known to us that is 40 liters. For parallel lines, we have been told that the V by F for the two lines must be equal. So, V by F of D line and V by F of E line must be equal. Therefore, you can write F D by F E equals to V D by V E. Just simple cross multiplication and therefore, you can say F D by F E becomes 80 by 40 that is equals to 2. Therefore, at least two thirds of the feed must go to branch 
d this is our understanding of the uh, volume or the size requirement as well as the feed distribution uh, for parallel series connections or parallel connections as well in case of multiple plug flow reactors in series or in parallel systems that is it thank you